I'm going to tell you of Petra and the Wolf. Each character in this tale is represented by a different instrument of the orchestra. The bird by the flute. The duck by the oboe. by the clarinet. Grandfather, by the bassoon. Three horns. Petra, the hero of our story, by all the strings of the orchestra. The hunters by all the woodwinds. shots by the timpani, also known as kettle drums. Early one morning, Petra opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow. On a branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Petra's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird gaily. Just then a duck came waddling round. 
He was glad that Petra had not closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. flew down upon the grass, settled next to him, and shrugged her shoulders. What kind of bird are you if you can't fly? said she. To this the duck replied, Yeah, well, what kind of bird are you if you can't swim? And dived into the pond. They argued and argued, the duck swimming in the pond, the little bird hopping along the shore. Suddenly, something caught Petra's attention. She noticed a cat crawling through the grass. tree and thought, oh, is it worth climbing up so high? By the time I get there, bird will have flown away. Then Grandfather came out. He was angry because Petra had gone into the meadow. place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then, then what would you do? I Thank you. 
Petra paid no attention to her grandfather's words. Girls like her, you see, are simply not afraid of wolves. father took Petra by the hand, locked the gate, and led them home. and in his excitement, jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, he just couldn't escape the wolf, who was getting nearer, nearer, catching up with him. And then he got him and with one gulp swallowed him. This is how things stood. The cat was sitting on one branch. Birdie on another. Not too close to the cat. looking at them with greedy eyes.
without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate, watching everything that was going on out there in the meadow. <laughs> a strong rope and climbed up the high stone wall. One of the branches of the tree around which the wolf was walking stretched out over that wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Petra lightly climbed over onto the tree. She said to Bertie, Fly down and circle round the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you. The bird almost touched the wolf's head with her wings while the wolf snapped angrily at her from this side and that. The bird did worry the wolf, how he wanted to catch her. But the bird was cleverer, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. Whatsoever. <laughs> the tail and pulled with all her might. <laughs> Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly about, trying to get loose. <laughs> came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail, shooting as they went. Thank you. 
just sitting in the tree said, Don't shoot! Bertie and I have already caught the wolf, and now you should help us take him to the zoo. <laughs> Just imagine the triumphant procession. With Petra at the lead. procession grandfather and the cat grandfather tossed his head discontentedly chirping merrily. Oh, look at how brave we are, Petra and I. Look at what we have caught. Listen very carefully. They might hear the sound of the duck quacking inside the wolf. Because the wolf, in his hurry, had swallowed him alive. Get off! Get off! Let me out of here, see?
Thank you.